when the whole world was running after electric vehicles, when Tesla, BYD, and other companies were trying to beat each other in the EV race, Honda has made a move that has shaken the foundation of the entire EV industry. Honda has created an engine that is being discussed in the entire global market. Now the question is, has Honda really made something that will force battery-operated cars to think? Is the dream of the EV about to end now? And what is so special about this engine that is making it a game-changer for the whole world? This is not just any ordinary engine. This is the hybrid monster of the future, which is a combination of both petrol power and electric efficiency. No hassle of charging, no tension of battery, only strong performance, low fuel cost, and long range. So now the question arises, should Elon Musk be afraid? Are big companies like BYD going to have sleepless nights? In this video, we will tell you the whole truth about Honda's revolutionary engine, its technology, the thinking behind it, and how it can change the entire EV world. So before you move ahead in the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you could be the first to see such amazing updates. Before knowing about that new engine of Honda, let's know a little about Honda. So let's go back a little to the time when the speed of cars and bikes had just started in the world and Japan was moving towards a big technological revolution. There was a man in that era. Soichiro Honda was not the son of a very rich father but belonged to a poor family, but he had a passion to make something that would change the world. He left his studies, but his love for engineering never diminished. At a young age he started working in a car garage and from there began Honda's journey. At first, Soichiro Honda tried his hand at making piston rings, but he kept failing again and again. Still, he didn't give up. After facing rejections many times, his products finally caught the attention of some Japanese companies. But then the Second World War hit and honestly it ruined everything. The factory was destroyed and the situation just kept getting worse. But even then, Honda showed courage once again. After the war, when it really seemed like everything was over, Sochiro Honda started installing motors on bicycles. And, you know, that's actually how Honda Motor Company was born. It wasn't some big start or anything, it was just an idea that, with a lot of hard work, became something much bigger. Little by little, Honda began making motorcycles, ones that were not only affordable but also durable and powerful. In 1958, the Honda Super Cub came out, and this bike created a stir not only in Japan but all over the world. It sold so much that even today, it's counted among the best-selling motorcycles in the world. And from there, Honda really gained momentum. After that, Honda stepped into the world of vehicles. They started making cars in the 1960s and in 1972, the Honda Civic hit the market. It was an affordable, reliable, and fuel-efficient car that quickly became the choice of just about every middle-class family. Then came the Honda Accord, which really left Honda's mark in the US and European markets people began to understand that Honda meant the name of trust. You know, the special thing about Honda was that they never made cars just for show. They really put technology, mileage, low maintenance, and customer needs at the top of their priorities. This is actually the reason why names like Honda Activa and Honda City have become household names even in a country like India. As the world changed, Honda also changed itself. They tried their hand at hybrid cars, worked on hydrogen fuel cell technology and even made air taxis and robots. And yes, they did seem a little behind other companies in the EV race. But the step they have taken now with a hybrid engine can surprise everyone. Today, Honda is not just a car company. It's actually a brand, a name of trust. People from every class in every corner of the world have driven Honda cars. And you know it all started with the dream of one man, Soichiro Honda, who used to repair cars himself. Now that they have presented this new engine to the world, it's important to know the history because, honestly, when someone who started from zero brings something new, you can understand that something big is about to happen. So, let's know now, what is there in this new engine of Honda that can shake the EV industry? How is this engine different from all the others? Now the biggest question is why is this new engine from Honda so different from other engines? Is there really something in it that's going to give sleepless nights to EV companies like Tesla, and if it's just a hybrid engine, then why is there so much commotion about it? So, let's get straight to the point now, and without beating around the bush, let us tell you why this Honda engine is called a hyper-hybrid, and just how far ahead it is from all other engines. First of all, this engine is not a normal hybrid engine like you might have seen in Toyota or old Honda cars. This hyper-hybrid technology is based on a completely new idea. It has a combination of a petrol engine and an electric motor, but the coordination created between these two 
is honestly amazing. Usually, hybrid vehicles either run only in EV mode or in petrol mode, but this Honda engine runs both of them together like all the instruments in a music team playing at just the right time. This engine actually uses the EV system which is Honda's latest innovation. It comes with a powerful 2.0-liter Atkinson cycle petrol engine, and there are two electric motors attached to it. One motor drives the car while the other one only charges the battery. But here's the special thing. The car runs on the electric motor most of the time. The petrol engine only kicks in when it's really needed, like at high speeds or during fast acceleration. This not only saves fuel but also charges the battery automatically. And honestly, driving stays super smooth. Now let's talk about power. This engine gives an output of about 184 horsepower. That's a lot of power, so you can drive it confidently on the highway. And you'll also notice it runs without any jerk, even in city traffic. And now, the most important thing, mileage. So listen to this. The mileage of this engine can go up to 20 to 28 kilometers per liter. And that's in real-world conditions. That's the kind of mileage you usually get from a small diesel car. But now you're getting that same mileage from a hybrid petrol car and well without any of the hassle of charging. The most special innovation in this engine is its intelligent power management system. This system itself decides when to run the car in electric mode, when to turn on the petrol engine, and when to run both simultaneously. This means that the driver does not need to do anything. Everything happens automatically. Just drive, and the technology will take care of you. This continuous recharging capability dramatically reduces the dependency on external charging infrastructure, effectively eliminating the range anxiety that plagues many potential EV owners. The system is so efficient that for daily commutes and average city driving, the petrol engine might not need to activate for days functioning almost purely as an electric vehicle. Yet for longer journeys, the driver has the complete freedom and peace of mind that comes with a traditional petrol engine ready to provide power and recharge the battery on the go. This is where Honda's genius truly lies. They have not tried to reinvent the wheel but have instead refined the concept of a hybrid to its most practical and efficient form. They have created a vehicle that offers the best of both worlds without the significant drawbacks of either. The environmental benefits are also substantial. By maximizing electric-only operation for city driving, it produces zero tailpipe emissions in the scenarios where air quality matters most, all while consuming significantly less fuel than a conventional car on the open highway. So to answer the initial question, should Elon Musk be afraid? And will companies like BYD have sleepless nights? The answer is not about one technology completely defeating another. Honda's hyper-hybrid engine presents a formidable and honestly for many consumers, a more practical alternative to pure battery electric vehicles. It directly addresses the major pain points of EVs, charging time, infrastructure dependency, and high initial cost, while delivering comparable environmental benefits for most everyday use cases. This move by Honda does not signal the end of the EV dream, but it certainly escalates the competition. It forces the entire automotive industry to think critically about consumer needs and practical solutions, rather than racing toward a single technological endpoint. Honda has thrown down a gauntlet, proving that the path to a sustainable future may not be a single road, but a multi-lane highway, with room for innovation in both electric and hybrid technologies. The ultimate winner in this race will be the consumer, who will have more efficient, practical, and powerful choices than ever before. Now another interesting thing, in normal hybrid vehicles either the engine is put under load to charge the battery, or it is charged by braking energy. But the regenerative braking system in Honda's hyper-hybrid engine is so powerful that just by applying brakes, the battery gets charged to a great extent. This means that the battery is always getting recharged while driving. 